Today we'll be shooting another roll of film, Kodak Ultra Max 400 again because this is my last roll that I have of them. But the weather doesn't look too promising honestly, it's pretty cloudy and the sky is like pretty hazy so the light pretty much sucks. And I knew that I had to get outside to make myself feel a little better and to relax a bit by taking photos. By the way I also got a new film camera but yeah, you'll see later on which one I got. I'm also not really sure which kind of photos I actually want to get today, but I do have a couple of locations in mind, but today we'll be mainly freestyling and see what we can get. And <laughs> I really hope that this camera won't have any issues because if you've seen my previous video, you know that I've struggled a lot. And also the fact that I was just screwing around with the film. So let's hope that I've learned some lessons and yeah, that we're going to do better today. Alright, so this is a camera that I got. This is the Canon F1 and one of the main reasons why I actually wanted this camera was because you can get this one off here and then you have this mirror right here. And I've seen many of these reels on Instagram already in which you can like really see the scenery straight from this mirror like without the viewfinder on top and they just look so so cool and so aesthetical and that's yeah, something that I really wanted to get. And if you've seen my previous video, then you would have also seen like how much it would have cost to repair the other film camera. And for that price, I could just get this camera, you know, because I also got it at a bargain. This camera with the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 cost me 187 euros. So that's like $200, I think. These cameras usually go for three to 400 euros euros or dollars so that's a bargain well i'm not really sure it's a bargain yet because we first have to see if this camera is going to work properly the only thing that's broken on this camera is like this self release shutter thingy okay let's do this let's hope we won't fuck up this time right mm. pull the film i put it over here Shit. Advance the film. There we go. I think that should do it. Alrighty then, let's do this. So now we're at an aperture of f5.6 and a shutter speed of thousand of a second. The aperture should be a bit higher. There we go. And this is, I think, our first exposure. So now let's see what kind of other compositions we can get over here. I hope that it won't start raining because the weather is pretty cloudy and yeah, it's pretty cold, not gonna lie. I usually enjoy taking a composition of like those buildings lined up over there. What would be amazing though is that there would be like birds flying by because there are a couple of them right now. So that would be great. And this should be a pretty nice composition. There we go. That's photo number two. Now I want to get a photo of those houses over there from this standpoint. First we have to go like a little bit more to that side over there to get a better composition. But yeah, I think we can get a pretty cool photo from this angle. The nice thing right now is that we can use this path over here as a leading line in the photo that's like aiming straight towards those houses. Well, I think that's it for this location. I'm not really sure what... Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so now we have to get like up this little hill. This is pretty sketchy, not gonna lie. Okay, fuck this. Fuck this shit. So we're going to go a little bit further over there. It's a little bit less steep. Okay, nice. Good job, Khan. You already got some dirt on a film camera, so yeah, very good job. I actually don't think I really need to get up this little hill because I also can get a composition from here and it actually looks pretty nice from here so yeah that's what we're going to do. There is only maybe like one more photo that I want to get from this location and then we're going to go to another location. Okay so this is like the easier spot to get up here. Or it's supposed to be easier, especially if you're not like 
carrying all this kind of gear and shit. But yeah. Oh shit, this is like the first time I see that you can actually get down here, so that's really nice. I think we can get a nice composition from up here because we have all these like plants in the foreground and in the background these buildings. Yeah, this is going to be a nice one. There we go. Mm, we haven't actually taken a vertical one yet, so let's do that. Let's get a vertical one as well. Let's get a little bit closer. Uh, just look at the weather right now. It doesn't look too promising. <laughs> I think it's going to rain pretty hard soon. I think I've got a couple of decent photos already, but we still have 28 exposures left. And I actually want to finish this roll of film because Tomorrow I want to get them developed. Apparently it's going to start raining in like 15 minutes. So yeah, we'll have to make the most of it. Damn, look at the cruise ship over there. That's actually a very good subject to take a photo of. But first we gotta get to like a better viewpoint because all the other like smaller boats are like blocking the view and I don't want to get those on the photo yeah I think this is already a nice spot to get a composition of the ship there we go there we go that's horizontal one I want to get a less busy vertical one but this is not the right spot for it <laughs> I actually know a better spot to get a really nice composition but we have to do some climbing for that again. Oh, hey, wait, wait. They actually like made it way easier to get up here because before there were like all these kind of loose rocks and you would really have to like do a lot of effort to get on here. But as you can see, they fill it up with lots of sand and shit. So that's cool. Let's show our athleticism. Ugh. That's nice. Let's get a vertical one as well. There we go. Until like birds pass by over here and get in my frame. So I can get a shot of the cathedral. Because without them, honestly, with this weather condition, it kind of looks boring. Okay, we got one. Not exactly the one that I wanted. We've got 17 exposures left and it still didn't start to rain so that's a good thing I really like the repetition of these garage boxes but a 50 millimeter might be too tight just look at this spot over here this is like the perfect spot to get some film photos. I mean, just look at these old school graphics, like these old school posters and stuff. That's, that's really cool. First, I gotta find out what kind of composition I want to get. Definitely one of this ice cream poster over here already, mm, but not sure if I want uh, cold drinks here and easy coffee part on here as well get it like this with the cold drinks here the vertical one so many possibilities with this pretty cool building it's like an ice cream place and even though it's pretty expensive the posters are like really really dope well that's the thing with film photography right like you really have to think through what you want to get in your images because one it's really expensive and two, it's really expensive. And then the third reason being that it's pretty expensive. A composition from here might work and I have to back up like a little bit more. Okay, we went for it. But I still want to get some pretty close-up ones of, of these posters 
as well. And now a vertical one of this one. There we go. Over there we have this pretty cool camper van that might look cool on a photo as well. So let's see what we can make of it. First have to figure out like what kind of composition we want to get. Not sure if I want to have those houses in the background or not. Now we have these two people like with the bicycles passing by. So we have to wait for those as well. There we go. Isn't it crazy like how this Osmo Pocket 3 is like just following me like it's nothing. To me that's really insane. Fuck. I think the people just got in the frame. I should have been a little bit more patient. Actually still want the composition of the ice cream shop, but one that's not too tight. But that's obviously the thing with 50 millimeter, it's pretty tight. I still would like to get like a 28 millimeter or 35 millimeter for this camera. I'm not really sure what the price those lenses is though hopefully not too much oh maybe we can take like a photo of that orange mercedes over there even though it's an electric one and we obviously don't like the electric the color still looks pretty cool we might be able to do something with that let's get a horizontal one as well because I think this actually looks better. Let's get a composition of these like windmills over here. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so we have two compositions left. Maybe we should get one of my car right now. I think it looks pretty decent. Not sure if I have parked it at the right spot, but if it's not, then yeah, we'll just get it to another spot where it would look more cool. Honestly, does a car like this excite you? It's like, I don't know, man, it's so round. There's like no character in it. And yeah, for sure, the interior is pretty cool with all the screens and stuff. But honestly, it's not for me. Having my car parked over here would look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So. I think this might work. I don't want to like obstruct the whole road. So I'm a bit more to this side over here. Shall we get a lantern in the frame as well? Nah, it's like too distracting like that. And there we go. Sheesh, just look at this rain. We're actually <laughs> finished right on time. Overall, there are a couple of photos I'm pretty satisfied with, but other ones are pretty meh. And maybe it's a film stock like Kodak Ultramax 400 is the first film stock I've ever tried and it looks quite grainy and I don't really like the colors of it. But I did stock up on some new film stock and I'm really excited to try this one out, but that's something you'll see in the next video. I think that some of my photos were a bit underexposed and a couple of them weren't really well composed. I just walked around in the neighborhood and I've been walking around there a lot of times. And I'm just kind of bored of this neighborhood to be honest. I just wanted to, yeah, test this new camera. And I think that's also one of the reasons why I didn't get the best photos overall. And something else that I didn't tell you is that the photos that you saw in this video didn't come out of the camera like the way you saw them. They actually had some kind of issue with them. Like in every photo I noticed something weird. There was this weird little light spot in every single photo like at exactly the same location and I was like mm, what is this did I get another faulty camera and yep that was the case after doing some research and texting several camera repair shops they told me that there was this little hole in the curtain so after trying to find it in the camera body itself I did find it in it and <laughs> this really sucked I honestly expected that the film journey wouldn't be that easy but yeah, I've had like two issues with two of my cameras already, so that sucks. But I mean, what could you expect? These are like really, really old cameras. And if they didn't get some maintenance in the meanwhile, it's normal, right? Anyway, the person of whom I bought the camera took the camera back. And I'm really grateful for that. And I'm really lucky that he sells this camera with like one month warranty. 
because he can test every single one of them. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, the journey continues. We'll keep on learning. We'll keep on trying different film stocks and we'll actually go on the lookout for a camera that actually works and one of which I don't have to pay like a lot of money to get it repaired. I'm actually wondering what kind of film camera do you shoot on and which film stock is your favorite one? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you would like to join me on this journey and other photo and videography related content, yeah then hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that and I'd love to have you on my journey. If you would want to watch the beginning of my film photography journey, here are my two first videos I've ever made. And <laughs> the second one is pretty funny.